Yes. And I, I would say the excitement for Doctor Who hasn't been at this this level for a very, very long time. And that's not necessarily because of the finale, but maybe more right. for what's coming yeah. down, you know, what's coming down the road in the next couple of years. So we can get to that and we can get to the review of the episode. But before we do, yeah. I did want to just mention because we were joking around about this news almost <laughs> I know last episode. We were kind of like, well, the whole Disney Plus thing, would you want to see that happen? But it's probably not going to happen. We hadn't heard any news about it in forever. Then they go and release a teaser video of the new logo, which we can talk about that later too. And in the blurb, it's like blah, 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 coming to Disney plus. And I'm like, wait, do they just drop the news on us that Disney plus is happening? So that was a kind of surprise, even though we just talked about it last episode. Right. Like we talked about it last episode, but we also talked about how that news was from July and we had this dry spell of hearing absolutely nothing about it talk through negotiations like can it can it not like what is what is the likelihood it would actually be able to happen because bad wolf radio or bad bad wolf radio Mm -hmm. because bad wolf is taking over the production of it and to see that news drop is pretty um it it's super surprising to be honest um i did not expect it to actually happen um it was a dream if it would and hey dreams do come true right like it's it's super surprising and we had talked about like what does that mean? It goes to Disney Plus. Are they just streaming, yeah. you know, stuff that's already aired, but it's still going to air on BBC America? But it, this, they didn't go into a ton of detail, but it does seem like based on the wording of the article, it sounds like it's exclusive. They do say that yeah. a number of times that it's exclusive to Disney Plus. New episodes will be exclusive to Disney Plus, at least in the United States, or I guess, is it pretty much everywhere except the UK? probably Um, yeah that it's coming to disney plus so yeah it makes it sound like new episodes their first airing will be on disney plus and not on bbc america bbc america wasn't mentioned at all yeah and and uh there there have been some other promotional stuff put out where shuti gatwa is like answering questions about what is doctor who like kind Mm -hmm. of priming the pump for the a larger fan base right um that disney plus could could potentially open up and it just goes back like we've seen we've seen these slight movements right like even with the casting of Shutigatwa, um the casting of some of the companions it definitely seems like they are making these moves trying to set doctor who up for like the the third wave of doctor who right like you had the original wave you had the new who wave and now it's like, okay, this is now the third wave of Doctor Who that we're getting ready to get swept up in. Um, it seems like wave? all the pieces, uh, yeah, the, right? It seems well, like all those set pieces are getting put in place. Yeah, it seems like it can be, you know, controversial as far as like Disney's involvement. Like we've already seen yeah. it just in our Facebook group, people talking back yeah. and forth. And like some people are excited about it, the idea that Disney is now involved. Some people are not excited about the fact that Disney's involved. <laughs> Uh, I think we had one one of the people in our group say, oh, this is the beginning of the end for Doctor yeah. Who, you know, now yeah. that Disney's involved. I tend to be, you know, and I've talked about on the podcast before, more Disney positive. I'm a Disney fan. I grew up, you know, big into the Disney movies as a kid and kind of it never went away for me. And I love going to the parks. And yeah. so I'm a bit of a Disney apologist, you could probably say. So I'm gonna, <laughs> t- tend to root for their success or kind of, you know, not I kind of be excited if they're involved in stuff that I like. Uh, so I, you know, I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's on Disney plus, but it, to me, it seemed like it was more like a place for them to air it and not necessarily that yeah. Disney was taking over Dr. Who. Um, so what did you think about that? Like, did you think that that was the case or were you kind of thinking, oh, this is going to be Disney fied Dr. Who? I, I purely read it as more of a <laughs> streaming opportunity. Now, does that mean that things don't evolve down the road? Um, I, I I don't know. Again, like the show just transitioned to Bad Wolf for production, so it's like to have like Bad Wolf, the Sony involvement there, and then all of a sudden like this immediate like transition now to like a Disney Disney angle. I don't know how all that works, but it just seems like it would be sudden and somewhat odd to have that production stuff like change hands so quickly um that said i longer like 
a longer transition. If I think initially, like you said, it's an opportunity for Disney. It's a yeah. big, you know, Doctor Who is huge. It's, we were, we right. had talked about this in the last episode. It's not at the level of Star Wars and Marvel, but it's a big franchise. It has a lot of history, a big fan yeah. base. Oh, of course, Disney's going to want to take advantage of that and say, hey, yeah, yeah. Put, it in our, put it in our stable. We'll take care of it. And it's going to bring it to a much bigger audience probably than previously it's been able yeah. to. And yeah. Disney Disney might pump a little bit of money into it to help them out because they want it to be successful. Yeah. Now, the creative side of it, how involved will Disney be in that? I tend to think not a lot, at least at the beginning. Um, and they'll kind of try to feel it out and see how it goes probably for a couple of years. And then if it if it goes gangbusters and they say, hey, let's make a movie, let's make a right. you know spinoff show. Like there's a lot more potential. And with somebody like Disney in your in your court, you have a lot more money to kind of make that yeah. kind of stuff happen. So there's, there's, it could be there's so many thing. dreads. Yeah. yeah. There, there's so many threads to this because it's like you had Russell T Davies making the mention of like, he tried to do the MCU, but far earlier than what Disney did to the MCU. And it's like, well, if that desire is still there to create that expanded universe, what better platform at least <laughs> that is already very strongly associated with the MCU, what better platform to actually be on. I mean, can you imagine the Doctor Who logo next to yeah, Disney, be. Pixar, yeah. Marvel, Star Wars, Doctor Who? Like, yeah, I guarantee you. It'll be one of the things, one of the tiles yeah. at the top that you're swiping through. Yeah. See what you want to watch. One will say Doctor Who, which is cool. Like, you know, they did it with I, when they brought Hamilton. You know, they said, oh, let's, yeah. let's bring Hamilton live, you know, to that was cool to see as a Hamilton fan. So, it's a good platform for any show to be a part of. Now there's Disney haters out there. They're going to say, well, it's a sellout and it's going to water it down. And there, you know, there's, there is definitely potential that the Disney involvement can hurt, hurt it. And yeah. there are going to be some people that just the name Disney alone is going to turn them off to, you know, to the future installments. Yeah. But I tend to see it as a positive overall. I, I would be interested to hear from the Simpson fans out there. Yeah. How has Disney's involvement with the Simpsons, that is another very lengthy series, how has Disney's direct involvement with the Simpsons, with the acquisition of Fox, has that been bad? Has it made no changes whatsoever? Because that's another very strong property that has a very passionate fan base, and it's very known for certain things. What's happening? Yeah, even, that? you know, I'll throw in the the Star Wars side of things. Like I'm a huge yeah. Star Wars fan and have been for a long time. And Star Wars was bought by Disney. Yeah. And there's people that say that was a bad thing for Star Wars. It hurt Star Wars. The sequel trilogy stinks, you know, like that kind of thing. But in my mind, it kept Star Wars alive because yeah. Star Wars was already kind of languishing, you know, it was its own little thing. It wasn't really in the mainstream media anymore. Um, but when Disney bought it, new new trilogy came out and yeah. now we have tv shows that you know most people would say the sequels well i'd say the sequels are very contentious some people like them some yeah. people don't. but andor the mandalorian yeah. kenobi we wouldn't have any of that yeah which are all I mean, tales of the different. jedi are coming out you yeah. have the the so, spinoff uh yeah so yes can disney have a negative effect sure but is it going to extend the life of and bring Doctor Who to yeah. a lot more people? Absolutely. Yeah. So as the Disney apologist, I will say I think it's a good thing that they're even any any involved in this. And I don't know how creatively they'll be involved, but yeah. just having their name associated to it, I think will be a good thing. I'm not a Disney apologist, but I, th I think I, I can say this. I don't think Disney's involvement necessarily spells certain ruin, right? Like could there could there be negatives? Sure, there can be always negatives. There could be oh, there, there could be negatives by just leaving it in BBC's hands, right? Um, but I think the potential um, could outweigh the risk of any negatives, right? Like if we get if we get two bad seasons of Doctor Who, but we get things on the quality of Andor, Kenobi, <laughs> like things of that quality. If we get animated stuff, like. I think that potential is, it's such a great opportunity, right? I'm not just going to immediately shut down the idea of Disney's involvement. 
and we were already talking about how, you know, the ratings for Doctor Who haven't been great. You know, there's definitely yeah. been rumors, you know, yeah. that Doctor Who's going to be ending soon. And so as much as we love Doctor Who and want to see it go on forever, if a show's not successful, at some point it can end. And it happened yeah. to Doctor Who fans in the 80s. You know, their show yeah. ended and it didn't come back for quite a while. So there's always that potential. So I think having the bigger audience with Disney is just going to, it's yeah. just going to extend the life of the show. And, and I think that that is a good thing yeah. for us fans. We might get some bad seasons. Maybe we'll get some bad doctors we don't like or whatever over time. But in the end, the show still goes on. And that's what I want to see. I don't need, I don't necessarily yeah. want to see it go away for five, 10 years and have to be re yeah. rebooted again when I'm, you know, in, in my seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. So. Agreed.